my dear friends. Mwah! Welcome back to Friday Price Day. Woo! Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Ah, oh, today I am at my office, so my coworkers are here to encourage me today. Ah, ah, very different, right? Very different from our past Fridays. That is right. That's because today is February twelfth, which is Seolnal. Korean New Year's Day, and I'm wearing this beautiful hanbok. So, do I look okay? Do I look like a beautiful Korean woman uh, sitting here hosting this live show? Today is the first day. <coughs> sorry, today is the first day of the lunar calendar, and it's officially the, the beginning of 2021 in Korea. So, um, oh, I see. Cassie says hello, and Wendy says Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year to all, and gotcha. Today's show is actually not live. Probably by this time, I will be having a um, beautiful time with my family in Tegu. Come on, guys! I need some rest too. I need to spend some time with my family. I'm. I was super busy, right? Yeah, exactly. I'm a very nice, the best worker at Korea.net. Don't tell anybody about this. So last time we did our live show at my office. No, at my office, at my place, and today we are at my office. <laughs> It's kind of a bit. I feel a bit different because I don't have you guys uh, here with me. You know, I I'm supposed to read all your comments. You saying hi, Minji. You look perfect. You look pretty beautiful as always. But today I don't have you, so I'm lonely. Lonely, 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 lonely. And no one's here to laugh. Ah, oh, lonely again. Oh, thank you. My team is laughing. I don't know what laugh that is, but. So I'm wearing hanbok, Korean traditional costume, and it's been ages. Like I didn't try hanbok. I wore it uh, when I was eight years old, I think. It's been almost twenty. Oh, not twenty. Uh, ten years uh, that I wore hanbok the very last time. <laughs> If you know what I mean. Uh, so I want to say happy New Year and today's. Live show will be very very different. Oh, and because it's not live, are we not giving away Amazon gift card? No, come on, guys. This is Minji, your one and only Santa Claus. Uh, we will give away Amazon gift cards to ten people. Thirty dollar Amazon gift cards to ten people. And how will we giving you those gift cards? We will have quiz in our live show, and if you say, if you also write "Happy New Year" in your language, then I will pick randomly ten participants and announce them next week. I will be probably saying this for uh, five more times today, but you will have to write the answers for the quiz that I will be giving you later, and "Happy New Year" in your language. So, for example, Russian will be Snovim Godam. I majored in Russian. Well, did I do okay? If I did wrong, just tell me because I don't want to get embarrassed. I wanted to tell you, tell you so many things, but I'm not here with you. And having not having you guys here is I don't know. It's such a disaster. I love doing this live show live with you guys. No one's here, but I think we need to carry on. The first round of today's show will be this delicious tteokguk, and I'm starving, so my mouth keeps watering. So I will need your consideration for that. And our second round of today's show will be Korean expressions commonly used on Seolnal. And I will be giving you some episodes, some fun episodes. So stay tuned. Don't run away from me. And the last and final round of today's show is the quiz. Yay! The prize that you all are waiting for. I know that. I know you are all here because you want to get Amazon gift card. 
Ah, uh, I need to read comments. Uh, I'm like talking to the camera right now. I need you guys to tell me to respond. Uh, but I think we need to move on to the first round of today's show. Did I tell you everything I need? Oh, I told you that I will tell you the greatest place that I visited in Jeju-do Island. My best pick was Bonte Museum, and I really recommend you to visit that place. It's a very nice architecture, and the exhibition is also very nice. So I'll move on to the first round of today's quiz show. Ah, oh, what do we have here? Da 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 da. We have Dokku, and ah, uh, my mouth keeps watering. I'm so sorry. Uh, this delicious Dokku, because my team prepared for me. Oh, so it's my dinner, and by this time, I will be having Dokku with my family in my home. Uh, but I will be watching this live show with you guys as well. So maybe we can meet in the comment section. That would be really nice. I'll be watching me and participating in the quiz and watching me eat toku, which won't be that fun. I'm not sure. But to tell you and introduce a little bit about toku, in Korea, we say, <clears throat> Did you have a ball of toku this Holan? That's how we say and greet each other. That's in, in Korea, traditionally, if you have a bowl of tteokguk, that, that means the beginning of New Year and you are getting one year older than last year. Oh, that's so horrifying. So having this tteokguk means the process of getting older is complete. So many would say, oh, I refuse having tteokguk. I don't want to have tteokguk. I don't want to get older. And as for me, I didn't have tteokguk yet. So I'm still young, <sighs> still really young. And uh, having dokku means uh, usually in Seollal, families gather and enjoy dokku. Mm, they go to restaurants and have dokku. But because of the pandemic this year, things got a little tough, right? I know. So a lot of missed their chances going to their family or hometown. But, so I'm here I am for you. I will introduce how dakguk is made. No, not how, dak, how dakguk is made because it's already done. But I will probably enjoy this together with you or maybe instead of you. So some of you, it might be first time for you seeing dakguk. And oh, I really want to see how you guys are reacting to dakguk. I want to read your comments right now. Uh, so can we... Do we have a bit of, oh yes, perfect. So this we have, here we have seaweed and egg garnish and my mouth watering again and dokku here, right here with me. And dok means rice cake and here we have sliced rice cakes and kuk means soup. So it's soup with sliced rice cakes. Of course, there are some more ingredients, but it just depends on you. And what I will be doing is ooh, chapsticks. I'm really good with chapsticks. Chop, 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 chop. So I'll be adding egg garnish first. Oh, yeah, garnish. Way to go, yellow. Wow. And then we will add seaweed on the top. And I really wanted to make it nice, but do I do that? <laughs> it's gotten messy. <laughs> Oh, actually, it's my first time trying food uh, during the live show, and it's so funny. <laughs> oh, I'm getting red. I'm nervous. Ah, no, don't show everyone that I'm red. Okay. Oh, doesn't it look so nice? Oh, it's still hot. They actually, oh, wow, they heat this soup for me. Oh. My mouth is watering. So I'll be tasting this. Uh, it's like AS, ASMR. And you guys will have to watch me uh, taste this bowl of tteokguk. Uh, hmm. uh, <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> uh, you know, trying... 
food in front of other people is not an easy thing as I thought. Wow, it's uh, very nervous. Uh, I don't want to get messy, so... And, oh, I don't want to ruin my hanbok as well, so I'll be careful. It's okay, guys, it's okay. I'm having fun. I'm just... I'm just nervous. Uh, <laughs> I'm just nervous. I... Uh, I don't know what to say, but... Mmm. The smell is really nice. Wow. <sighs> hey, guys. You guys want to join? Maybe you guys, if you have any food in front of you, then you guys can just join me having this lunch together. Uh, right now, the time that I'm filming is evening, and I didn't have my dinner yet. Oh, it got messy, but it's okay. Mm, so I will try these rice cakes. <laughs> it's so nervous. <laughs> mm. Do I need words for that? Do I need any more description? Wow. Uh, I will finish uh, this big bowl of toku, so you guys just do whatever you want to do. Okay, bye. Hmm. <laughs> Can you see the mixture of rice cake? Oh, it looks so messy. <laughs> but the mixture of rice cake and this soup, which is kuk, and these garnish and egg. Oh, they just make a great harmony. And usually. Koreans enjoy tteokguk with kimchi, and they actually add rice if they want to enjoy. And I will have one more because it's super delicious. Mmm. Mmm. 진짜 너무 맛있어, 대박. Can I have one more? Okay, they, they, they say I can have one more. <laughs> wow! Best show today. I'll try soup. Mm. Oh, after I finish this show, I will have the rest of doku, okay? This is mine. No one touches this. No, they might take it away from me. Do I have seaweed on my mouth? Is it okay? Okay. Ah, uh, okay everyone, hi. Um, I think I was very focused with my tteokgu, so I didn't have much time to talk to you. Uh, but I didn't finish my tteokgu yet, so I'm not older, okay? Ah, uh, don't, don't give me that look. I see you guys, oh, she had tteokgu, so now she's one year older, but I'm still not. And uh, does having two, two bowls of tteokgu means that you're getting two years older? No, that doesn't make any sense. So, this is uh, this was tteokgu, and uh, you can al also add dumplings or some meat or some flavors that you want to add to tteokgu because it's enjoyed in various ways. <clears throat> oh, this tteokgu is actually. Uh, looking at me. Oh, you know, you, you're hungry. But I'll try this later. And that's that was tteokgu. Uh, people uh, used to eat tteokgu uh, on the first day of the lunar calendar, as I've told you. And tteokgu, you can also enjoy tteokgu in other days as well. You don't have to eat tteokgu on Seollal. It's okay. But a lot of families also enjoy tteokgu on the first day of 2021, not according to the lunar calendar, right? So, actually, in Korea, a lot of restaurants sell tteokguk as well. So, it is traditional food in Korea, but you can just enjoy this meal anytime you want. It doesn't have to be especially on uh, Seollal. A lot of enjoy on Chuseok as well, or the first day of New Year. So, it doesn't matter, but... The point is, tteokguk mm, is a very traditional Korean-style food. 
and dish. So I really recommend you to enjoy. Well, as for me, I enjoyed the original way it is. So tok and kuk and egg garnish and seaweed and kimchi. That makes the perfect combination for me. <laughs> So the second round of today's show is all oh, learning Korean expressions with Minji. Yeah, very good. I don't need these cards. Ah, oh, you know I need you saying, "Oh wow, second round! I'm ready, Minji. Wow, beautiful, our hanbok wear, Minji." Uh, but oh, but. You are not here with me, but I will be watching you because I'll be also watching this live show with you guys, and I will see who is uh, leaving comments, right? And I will be randomly picking ten participants and give away Amazon gift cards. So don't miss that chance away. It's a very good chance, and maybe getting winning prize on Sunday will make your ear very lucky. And our second round of today's show is learning Korean expressions, and it's regarding sola, because today's episode is centered and focused on sola. So I want to celebrate this beautiful holiday with with you guys. That's why I have prepared such nice Korean expressions that you can also use to your friends or mm, to any K-pop artists that you like. Maybe BTS. So, let's move on. Give us our first Korean expression. Ah, the most probably common expression that you've heard before. So this is 새복 많이 받으세요. 새복 많이 받으세요. This means Happy New Year in Korean. And a lot of you definitely have heard of this before. I know that. And oh, don't forget to leave your Happy New Year in your own language in the comment section. So I will randomly pick ten and give away Amazon gift cards. Ah, oh, so proud that I reminded this to you all. So this is the just formally and informally used in the beginning of New Year. And on January first, everyone would say, "Have 새해 복 많이 받으세요, 새해 복 많이 받으세요, 새해 복 많이 받으세요, 우리 팀." <sighs> Such a nice coworker. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, so nice, I know. And 새해 복 많이 받으세요 is just you can just t say this to anybody. It can be your friends, your families, or at your office. It's it's just very very commonly used and. <clears throat> I'm so sorry because of that delicious tteokguk, uh, and and commonly used. And this expression is 새해 is New Year, and 복 많이 받으세요 is oh you're a great blessing. So hope your New Year will be perfect, will be lucky, and wish all you wish for comes true in 2021. And we also have other expressions as well to wish good luck for the New Year. But this is the most number one expression that Koreans use during Seollal. And you can just say this anytime. You can say this in the beginning of New Year on Seollal, or maybe. In December thirty first of last year, we also say this to other people. So, it's the most commonly used, and we have a lot of uh, cards uh, on table money bus. And you know what's so funny? I would also say table money padaseo to my my friends and my families and my coworkers or my colleagues. And one time I said table money padaseo. But I misspelled, so I have to say 새해 복 많이 받으세요. But I said something like 새해 복 많이 받으시오, and it wasn't a big deal. But I just copied and pasted it to everyone that I know, so everyone got my message 받으시오. And you know, it's not a big deal, I would say. But it was I I really I noticed this uh, mistake a bit later, so I was like, oh. I made a mistake because I also sent my message to uh, people who are in um, how should I say uh, the elders as well, and there are some people that I have to show respect and 
behave nice behavior and if they have read my message with a bit of typo then you know I might look a bit bad so I was really embarrassed and <clears throat> I'm so sorry and that's what happened it's not funny but I just wanted to share this uh, little episode with you if you guys have any funny episodes about today's expressions then just leave them and I'll read them out next week because I'll be coming back next week so oh just let's just move on to the second expression mmm sebe can you guys guess what this is sebe ah let me read it. I prepared the perfect sentence for you. So this is paying respect to the elders by taking a deep bow. Can you guess how it goes? So taking a deep bow is, uh, it depends on the gender. So men would place their left hand on top of right hand and then just kneel down and place their head above the hands. And the woman, sh they, uh, they place their fingers uh, beside them and just kneel down one, one knee, only one. So it, I will maybe show it to you later. Um, and usually the younger generations would bow to the elders saying, Happy New Year. And as I've told you, and they would bow to the elders uh, hoping they're 2021 will be healthy and safe and warm. And the elders would give their blessings to the younger generation. So they would say, uh, mm, be safe, stay healthy, and we also hope that your new year will be perfect. And my dear fellows, uh, we don't give bow to each other. But I wish your 2021 would be perfect. I don't know why that just came up, but I just wanted to tell you this. Uh, so, sebe is a traditional, very, very old traditional um, Korean culture in Seollal. And we only perform this sebe only on Seollal in the beginning of New Year. And we do it once because twice is for the deceased so we only do it once and children would wear hanbok and that's why i wore hanbok when i was young because i would do sebe to my grandmother and my grandfather and not only them but also i would bow to my uncle uh, or my aunts it doesn't matter just you bow to the adults but you know what's so funny now I'm an adult, so I'm kind of in a position where I should bow to the elders or my, uh, my nephews would kind of like ask me, do I have to bow to Minji Imo? And I'll be like, no, <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm, I'm still young, it's okay. It's, it's a sad story, you guys, it's a sad story. And I would, I also have my, uh, my families as well and my relatives and, and we would just make fun of each other because we are all similar age. But uh, I need a little more episode, but we, we have another expression coming soon and I will tell you a little more episodes on that. So let's move on to the third expression. Ah, chare. Let me read it out again. Uh, so chare is the first day of the celebration of Seollal begins with chare mostly. So chare is a memorial service that prays for the peace and good health of the ancestors. Family members will dress up or wear hanbok and everyone will then gather in front of a table prepared for the ancestral rite. Right. And uh, traditionally, Koreans would prepare uh, over 100 types of food for, so it's just paying respect to the ancestors. And they would also bow. But um, you know what's so interesting? I've never performed tare before. Like my family didn't have because my grandmother and grandfather and my great grandmother are all still very healthy so I didn't perform chare that 
much. So I actually don't know specifically how it goes. But if you have any ideas how it goes or if you have any tried before, just leave it in the comment section so that I can learn as well. Oh, and I have a special story that I want to share. Uh, I got some messages that they are, they, um, they said, Thank you, Minji, for hosting such a great show. I'm learning a lot about Korea and Korean culture, and you are a great host. Of course, I like the part, you are a great host, but I just wanted to thank you all because I think about you every day, every night. Isn't that scary? And I always feel the most comfortable on Friday because I can be with you guys. So I really was touched to read such a nice, warm message. And that's tare. What's tare is? Um, would that be an enough explanation? If you need to learn a bit more about tare, then just feel free to ask me in the comment section that I can add some more details about tare. Okay? And we will move on to our final and last Korean expression. Sebetu. <sighs> Lot, lot to say about this. I hope. I think you will be like, oh, if I tell you what this is, sebe. I told you what sebe is, right? So sebe is a deep bow to your, the elders, and ton is money. Ah, money. So sebe ton is children when they are young, they would receive sebe ton. So it's like, it's like pocket money from the elders and. The, the reason they give it to the, the children, younger generation, is because they also want to give their blessings and good luck to the younger generations and their families. That's why they give sebetton. And it's like New Year's money. And when children are young, they would expect this money, I think. A lot of do. The, the amount doesn't matter at all. The, the amount, it, but it just the meaning it has is really full of love. So you perform sebe to your grandmother and your grandmother will give you sebe ton and say hope all the blessings for you. And you know, that's, isn't that so hard touching? I, I, so that's what I really love sebe. I get to say things that I want to say to my grandparents or my families, you know, just and it's, it's a very nice time for the families to actually uh, say, give blessings to each other. And it's really good to see. It's really good to see. And I really want to know if other countries have different uh, cu cultures, but a bit similar like this. Hmm. Would there be any other country? It's only Korean style culture about sebe and sebe ton or chare as well. But I, I really want to know if, if there's any similar cultures that other countries have. If there is, just tell me in the comment section. Wow, this week's comment section will be 200, 2000, right? Don't disappoint me. Oh, excited already. Wow, next week I'll be like, whoo, too many comments. So maybe I can just spend uh, in the entire hour reading all the comment sections. And uh, we have to do ASMR content. We have so many things to do. Uh, so that's what I want to tell, tell you about Korean expressions. And when I was young, when I was really, really young, like five years old, uh, I, 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 did, I performed sebe to my grandmother, but my grandmother wanted to give sebe ton to all of us a bit later. But, you know, I was a kid. I was young, okay? I, I'm really close with my grandmother, so don't blame me for doing this. But I just asked my grandmother after I performed sebe. I was like, oh, 할머니, 세배 또 먼저 줘요? That, that's what I said. But I was kid, okay, everyone? I was kid. I was young. I was pure. But which, which means, uh, oh, Grandma, when will I get my sebeton? And everyone just laughed. But the what you know what's the funniest? I was the oldest among my all cousins. So I am supposed to, even though I was young, I was the oldest, but I said something really funny and weird. And my mom just told me, you shouldn't be saying something like that. That's not what you say to the elders. So I was like, oh, why am I not supposed to say that? But my mom told me this years after and after and after 
And my grandmother would tell me this after and after. Why? I don't know why they keep me reminding that episode. But such a funny story that happened. Isn't it funny? It's, uh, uh, it's not funny. Hmm. Well, I think it was really cute. So I wanted to share this with you guys. And that's the second round of today's show, I think. Uh, I hope it wasn't boring, but you got to know the four expressions that Koreans use for Seollal. So you can, you know, if you meet Korean friend, you can be, Oh, so did you do 세배? Did you do 차례 then? Ah, 세배 돈 받았어? You might look really smart, right? And let's move on to our final, but the most important quiz of today's show. Giving away Amazon gift cards. Da, 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 da. Ah. Hey guys, I'm back. Oh, oh wow, uh, it's a recorded video, so I get to shoot it again if I make a mistake. That's amazing. It's my first time. Ooh, I prefer live show a bit better. <laughs> okay, I need to explain uh, how our final round of today's show will be. So I will give you four questions and I will show you two pictures per each. And you will have to answer what these pictures are. So easy. Uh, do you think it's easy? But uh, the way of winning Amazon gift card is not easy. You have to get all four answers right. Plus, you have to write Happy New Year in your own language. So, for example, if it's in Korean, then, oh, the answer is, that, 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 and, 새해 복 많이 받으세요. That's how it goes, okay? Ugh. Comments to 3,000 already. Yeah, exploding! Oh, so excited. And we will pick 10 people, 10 participants randomly and give away $30 Amazon gift card per each. So I will give you four questions and I will only give you pictures and show you pictures. Oh, let me just tighten up my hanbok. You know, hanbok is such a beautiful costume, I think. It's, I know it's Korean traditional costume, but still, you know, the colors are really nice and classic and there isn't any other traditional costume like hanbo i think i just uh, went a bit off the topic but <clears throat> so give us show us the first picture for today Ooh, can you guess what this is this is such a a famous Korean traditional game. It's a Korean traditional board game usually played by families or gatherings especially during the holidays. So in Seollal, Chuseok, uh, they would gather and play this game. And as you can see, uh, there, is, there are wood sticks, right? And you would throw four wood sticks and uh, depending on how many faces the wood stick sticks are, you get to move and play maybe four, five, just move your that's how it goes, and we have another picture to show you. Okay, so this is how it goes. So this is this is how the game goes, and uh, you have to throw four wood sticks, as I've told you, and also move your. What should I say? Ah, I for, I, I studied this, but I forgot. So that you have to move your horse. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, but this is Korean traditional board game and I can't give you more hints because it will be too easy. You will just look it up and just whatever I say and the answer would just pop out and I can't make it that easy. So that was our number one and here is number two. Oh, for this I prepared a song. So this is, as you can see, it's a bird, right? So. Oh, such a good singer, right? I know I'm a mission. Thank you, thank you. And this is the name of a bird, and in Korea, I don't know why, but people will say, oh, if you see this bird in the morning, oh, it means your, your day will be a lucky day. I don't know why that came from, but a lot of people 
uh, say this. And this was uh, this bird. Let me tell you. Okay, so it's oh the Seollal song for children especially. So this the song that I sang. It's a uh, Seollal song for children and probably the most famous song uh, for Seollal. And we have another picture of a cute little bird. <laughs> Doesn't it look really cute? And I can't give you any more hint. I'm so sorry, but you will, uh, you will be able to figure it out. And number three, we go. Oh, wow. Korean sweet. Oh, Korean sweet. This is probably the easiest out of all four questions. So we have a lot of types of Korean sweets enjoyed during the holidays. Oh, whenever I see a picture of food, my mouth keeps watering because I didn't have dinner yet. I wanted to meet you guys first. So, and these, uh, as you can see in the, how should I say, in the, uh, it's not a box, right? But as you can see in the bin, uh, there are lots of types of Korean sweets, right? And you can enjoy this with Korean style beverage or tea or alcohols. It's okay. And my dad loves this food, this snack. And oh, we have another picture to show you as well. Oh, we have a lot of various designs, size, types and colors and as you can see korean traditional design and patterns can be also uh, on the top of uh, the these sweets it's kind of hard to explain without saying the answer because i've already made such a mistake do you remember <laughs> and um there are very types and these sweets are made with sugar and mm, honey mm, rice rice cake sometimes and it's really diff different and there are various types of these korean sweets and it literally means korean sweets so if you just look it up you can just find the answer right away and we will move on to our last question oh so cute so do you know what 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 what's what would be the question for this picture if you can see in the center in the middle of the photo then there is this Lucky bag, Korean lucky bag. I think I said the answer, but it's okay. You have to write them in Korean. So this is Korean lucky bag and people would just wear it or give traditionally people would give to the elders or their families so that, you know, they, these bags will bring and gather all the, collect all the luck and blessings. That's what it meant. But you, right now, not a lot of people wear these lucky bags. And the colors are different, but when the, um, for the, when people, people would just wear this, oh, it's so hard to say without saying the answer. A lot of people would wear this lucky bag when wearing hanbok. So it's very traditional Korean style. And did I miss any hint? Uh, no, that's what I mean. Okay, and we have another picture to show you. Mm, see, I've told you uh, there are a lot of designs and colors and it's like a pouch. Okay, so you can just put in anything that you want or like cosmetics, whatever you want to whatever you want to put in, but these are for the deceased, then people would wear uh, white lucky bags uh, during the funeral. It's so hard to say because I know what this is, right? But I don't have it right now. But uh, I think you can just figure it out. I told you a lot of things. If you just look look it up or uh, whatever some words that I've just said I think the answer would just pop out whoo whoo the last corner was really hard do you know why because I just keep saying the answer because of course before meeting you I would practice right and I would practice explaining things to you uh, not giving you too much information but giving you a little bit of hint but when I practice I would say the answer so I, I just kept stopping in the middle of my sentence. Ah. 
Well, I think today I should have uh, behaved a bit calm because I'm wearing hanbok. So that was it for Friday Price Day's Halal special episode. It was really weird and awkward to have this uh, hold this live show without you guys. I need you guys beside me, but the comment section is always open. So don't forget to write any comments. You know, if you can't get the answers right, you can just say Happy New Year or any comments, fun comments, or that you you've enjoyed my show. Then I will, you know, in case I'll be like. Okay, I love these guys. So make me more gift Amazon gift cards. I promise I can make that happen because I am, you know, the boss here. So, <laughs> so I'll just do that. So don't be embarrassed to leave any comments. I'll be waiting and I'll be watching, and I'll be looking at you guys uh, chit chatting in my comment section. Okay. It was really nice to. Uh, not have you, but see you uh, guys in the show, and I love you all. And thank you for coming today. And happy new year! See you next week. Bye bye. 모두 새해 복 많이 받으세요.